Hello, love friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome back to another day in the nonchalant Nuzlocke. We are going to go over a team briefly, I think. Uh, maybe not. We'll go ahead and see. So we're back at the Pokemon Center. I don't remember what I just did. I think we went ahead and caught... Yeah, there we go. We went ahead and caught Striker here on Route 3. Um, and unfortunately, we have everybody that did pass on... Uh, that's our oops paint, actually. Our, uh, graveyard, our, uh, is here. We got the Creep and Carol have unfortunately moved on, uh, to the NPC, right? Uh, but for our team, you know, we have Gem with Peck, Astonish, Pursuit, and Haze. Has all the stats there. We have Smalls, uh, which is our Meowth, which is a really good Jolly Technician here. Keeps us uh, doing pretty well with that fake out uh, bite move combo. We have <laughs> excuse me, Victor, our uh, Victor, our uh, Grubbin here. Vice grip, string shot, uh, mud slap, and bite. We have time, our Noibat with brick break, sonic tackle, and uh, absorb with the Normalium Z. We got that focus band, of rock rough, the Rufio. I mean, we got Rufio, the rock rough. And with Tackle Bite, Fire Fang, and Happy Hour. Happy Hour is great. And then finishing off, we got Bruce. Bruce, the Zubat Man. Um, with Absorb, Supersonic, and Astonish. Has that lax nature with that inner focus. So, I think it's time to go ahead and uh, switch some things up. I actually wonder how many Pokeballs we have. We might go grab Pokeballs real fast. Um, team-wise, I want Victor to grow another level or so. Uh, I think we're going to keep Bruce and Time in the background right now. And we're going to kind of lean on Smalls, Rufio, and Victor. And we might, we might end up using a little bit of gem here. Uh, when necessary. But we'll kind of focus on those guys for right now. We will be having that fighting one come up, which is when we'll need these other three guys. But for now, we're going to keep them back. We have the XP share on so that they can gain some levels for us. And uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokeballs we have. I don't think we have a lot. Congratulations! Now you can purchase more items. Oh, so th there's Great Balls. So we have 13 Pokeballs, 10 Great Balls. We'll go ahead and grab another five of these, I think. Probably won't have great balls for too long, but we have a couple of places to catch some new mons. So, we want to have uh, uh, an ability to get some, or have some. Uh, I think we're going to ignore him. We're just going to get going down Route 3 and trying to find Lily. Ooh, some berries. Let's go ahead and get some berries back here. No! I wanted the free berries. And there's a cutie fly here. So, what will we do? Nothing's very effective. Let's just go ahead and vice grip then. Should be strong enough uh, for a two shot. Ooh, stunt spore. You might actually have to use the uh, thing because I know the Pokemon Center's right there, but. We, we might as well just. Wipe it off of them. Yep. Let's care. Because we care for our Pokemon. I don't know if you've been here yet. But here, let's just wipe away that pa that uh, that powder on you there, Victor. We know everyone's hungry, but we're going to ignore that for right now. I want my berries. Oh no. Oh no. We know what this is. This is Crabrawler. I was hoping to run into him over at the, uh, the berry field, but I don't think you can. So, Crabrawler is a bit of a test on uh, how well we can do against Hala. We get the quick claw pop. That bite script. 
Eh, not bad. He does have Rock Smash, though. And I think our Bug Typing resist. Let's go ahead and just Vice Grip again. Should be a three shot KO. Ooh. Got the defense drop again. Calling for help. Nobody can help you. They just took one look at the grub and said, You don't need help against that. So, unfortunately, we'll take out this Crib Brawler. We already caught a Pokemon on this. Uh, route, and that was the creep, so we're not gonna go ahead and catch another one, although Crabrawl is pretty sweet. Okay, I want the berries, though. That's what I came here for, that's what I'm getting here. These the berries. Chesto Resto, and an Oron. The Iran Berry, right? Uh, let's go ahead and run. Okay, we have a couple of trainers we can face. He's just telling us about these, uh, these bird Pokemon right there. We can try to avoid them. They give out sharp beaks sometimes. What's this point here? Oh, that's I was like, there's, there's a gap there. It has to be something. No! We got caught by one. No! It's a Spearow, of course. I caught one of you in the grass. Ooh, we might want to move Victor out of here. It's level 13, so I think we're going to go ahead and switch over to Rufio here, which does not have a rock type move yet, surprisingly. Must get rock type moves at level 14. Lower attack. That's fine. Calling for help. You have no damage on you. I was like, you have no damage on you. Why can't you call for help already? That's craziness. Let's go ahead and see if Rufio can take out this Spiro. Number 21. Fire Fang, and it does nothing. That does not do a lot of damage. So this, this, this might take a second. I guess I should have just ran. I thought I could just beat it quickly. But wow, this thing is pretty defensive for a Spearow. Oh, that's right, it keeps lowering my attack. That might not be helping me. Let's see if I can get it burnt, though. There we go. We got it burned. Let it burn. Let it burn. Um, and with that, I think we will switch into Smalls here. To go ahead and finish off this Spiro. That Fury swipes. Five times, holy. Okay, Smalls, finish it up with that fake out. There you go. Gem grew to level 13. The reason why we ran down it that way is so we can face off against this guy. Oh, which we already did. No more items down there, we already got him. And face off against this girl. Do you have a preference about the type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? Yes, apparently I like flying types right now. And, uh, I would say I like dogs, because my other game my playthrough my other game I'm, I'm playing through it has Azura and a Rockruff like immediately on the same team I think I caught like a like, Toto too or not, not Toto I call it Toto what's it's actual name it's actual name is uh Lilypop there we go 
Absorb is not effective. I'm gonna and vice grip this thing. Does not much. Um, you can mud slap this cottony. Yikes. I'm just gonna heal that back up. Um, nothing. What was that accuracy though? Um, we're gonna have to switch here. Something that can handle it. Uh, I'm gonna say gem. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a gem up here. Okay, right, Jim, you got this. Start back at square one. Just go ahead and peck this cotton. Nice. Two hit KO. That's very nice. That's very nice. Ooh, collecting some of that back. Should still be a two hit, though. That should still be a two hit. Nah, I am just doing this series for fun. If you guys like this, be sure to let me know, though. Because I'm, uh... I'm enjoying it. If you guys have any requests for me, I can definitely try to do those. Let's get rid of the String Shot. I know he's slow, but he's eventually fast. So, String Shot. We're gonna get rid of for that Bug Bite Stab. He's gonna help us against those things like Cottony. Beat the Rising Star. Uh, we could have tried to get the double, uh, coinage there, but it's fine. I think we're done with this route. It's time to check out the, uh, oh, this move boost. So we could face off against this guy. Ah, no, we can't. Kukui's blocking. So Kukui's blocking the, the exit there. Maybe this guy gives me something, right? Soothe Bell. Very, very nice. Actually, I have someone that can go on. Because Zubat evolves into Crobat with friendship, we're going to go ahead and give the Soothe Bell to this um, Zubat. And since you don't have an item, we're going to give you the Sharp Beak. Okay, okay, with that, it is time to get stopped by the professor here, and uh, go ahead and go to the meadows. She's no trainer, yeah, so I don't think she could have gone too far on her own. I guess that means don't go this way. But, I mean, without reading this sign, you don't know that this is a uh, melee melee. Cool breeze. Let's go ahead and see what Rotom wants with these eyeballs. Okay, we see Lily. We found her. But what's this mean? Copyright? Is that what that means? Nebby! Nebby, come back! Ah, that for Jeff. Nebby! It'll, it got out of my bag again. It's way the f over there. <laughs> it's way over there, going into that cave. But why would it want to go into that cave? And right after I got it into so much trouble on the bridge too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use in battle. It can teleport away. Let's head to the cave. We can help look for Nemi. It's Cosmo. Cosmo, get in the bag. What? Okay. I wonder why he just did that on his own. I didn't ask him to do that. Okay, let's see what we get in the Mele Mele Meadow. It is going to be... Something good? Something good? It is a cutie fly, so we got a fairy type. This could be an option against Hala, I would say. Is a nice fairy type. Let's go ahead and vice grip it. I don't think I'll kill. That fairy wind attack that you just saw could be essential against Hala. 
Okay, let's go ahead and throw a great ball at this thing. We definitely want to capture it. One, two, and three. There we go, we got that cutie fly. Um, evolves into Rabombi, and Rabombi. Hmm. Ooh, time once again. Gus, that's useful. I think I'm gonna get rid of Absorb for Gus. I'm grubbing, struggling a little bit. Uh, let's see this cutie fly. What should we name it? Um, hard to say. Nectar and pollen are its favorite fare. In fields of flowers, it gets into skirmishes with Butterfree over food. Um, it's a bee fly Pokemon, so it's a little, literally a combination between the two of them. But it has like a hummingbird beak. Uh, cutie fly, Rabombi. It's a female. Um, so sh her name should be. Actually, I don't know. I don't have a name for her. Uh, I name her Nectar. Or that horrible misspelling of Nectar. Um, what did I miss? Uh, uh, Nectar is her name though. Uh, we can go ahead and check her summary. Fairy Wind, Absorb, and Stun Spore. It'd be great to throw her on the team here. But uh, let's, let's check the party. Is there anybody we want to part with right now? I guess I could throw Grubbin into the... Uh, I could throw Grubbin into the box temporarily. Put this cutie fly on our team. But he just got bug bite, so he's kind of useful here. It might be best to put Rock Ruff in. This is a while before we evolve Rock Rock. I'd say definitely not one of our flying types. He has Fire Fang now. Um, yikes, I don't know. Doesn't look like I want to get rid of anybody right now. The best option to train up Cutie Fly though. We'll send her to the box. We don't have a spot for her right now, so there's no point in keeping her. We do get extra experience right now. What I might do here is actually put Rufio in the front and try to face some of these uh, trainers. A fla baby. A fla baby. So it is kind of set up here nicely to be able to grab exactly what you need in order to beat up the uh, the uh, Hall of the Grand Trial Master here. We give you all the fairy types you could want in this section right here. Give you a whole route of flying type Pokemon. And your options for starters are usually pretty good on uh, whether or not you can take on fighting types as well. 
There goes down the flay, baby. Looks like we're at 20 minutes, so I'm gonna finish up Melee Melo Meadow. Uh, get ready to go into the cave, and then we will we'll finish it up there. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and face this trainer. Say, sure, we can battle. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. My name's Marin. I'm an aspiring actress, you see. I've been intimidated imita imitating these various styles of work. Hoyer to work on portraying different characters. So, if you don't mind, a little demonstration. Ahem. <clears throat> she didn't change. All right, let's go. Marathus is here to be, to get this product pumped. I've been cheering for both of us to do our best. Teacher become doctor, right? She looks like a teacher. Actor. PC actor Meredith. Meet her or Corio though. Oreos. Okay, Rockruff. Show them what you're working with. Let's do a little happy hour. Yeah. They know each other. A little happy hour. You can pay for my drinks. Yeah. And go ahead and fire fang this Oracorio. Has peck. Luckily, Rockruff does uh, resist that. Ooh, hardly did anything. We're gonna have to use a potion soon. Let's go ahead and bite. You need another level, Rufio. That rock throw. Okay, looks like it's time to switch it up. I'm starting to get damaged all over the place. Let's go into smalls. Get that technician boost. And get the peck from Oricorio. Gonna eat that citrus berry just to stay healthy. And go ahead and bite this Oricorio. Hopefully it does some decent damage. It does decent. Um, looks like we're a little under level, so. I might have to figure out how to do a grinding montage where I level up everybody to level 13 or something. There we go, we got rid of the Oracorio. And we are at probably pretty much time, so we might have to just finish it up here. So I think in the next episode, sorry for all the fooling around. So there we go, now Rock Ruff is going to be useful. We got a rock throw move. We'll get rid of Tackle for that. There we go, so learning some new moves, going through, uh, Route 3, and hey, I found her, Lily. So I think that's where we're going to end it up today, guys. It's been, uh, I guess, a normal, about, about normal uh, timed uh, episode. I try to keep them about 20 minutes. So, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Let's go ahead and read Meredith, though. Yep, that was my pom-pom style performance demonstrated in battle. I think I, I really get the kind of character now. She spins around and goes somewhere else. Uh, I got more styles to study. Lola. And poof, she disappears. <gasps> She's a ghost. So I wanted to grab the poison bar because it was right there. So right here is kind of interesting because it's a, a photo spot. So I'll show you guys that real fast. You can get this. Um, I don't know if I got that or not. It was close all of a sudden. And, oh, I don't have zoom in on this function yet. I'm gonna just choose that one I just got. So you guys go. Let me know your comments on my photos below. That one I got its butt. That one's I got its face. And, yeah, I didn't pay attention to any of that. So there we go. We're gonna pick this one. A flying oracorio. What do you guys think of my shot? You can leave any of these comments. Wow, blew my other one out of the water. Oh, I wasn't at version two yet. Oh, cool, so we got version two. Oh, 1500, yeah, we got way more than that. I'm not gonna save the photo though. Oh, I don't wanna do that either. Cancel, cancel. Sorry for the photo gallery all of a sudden here. 
I don't even know what I took a picture of. Apparently that was a brilliant shot. Like, oh, the way I like to do it is I like to... Oop, that was terrible. I like to see the path he's coming on and just get it as it's passing. I don't know what everybody else's best photo practices are, though. Missed it. There you go. Um, I still think it was the second one, though. That was the best. Luckily, everything was flying for me this time. Kawaii! Grand Grandpa loves those flowers. Oh, and I look, I beat it. I beat my last one by... 12, 12 likes, that's funny. So let's go ahead and close the Pokefinder. Like I said, I hope you guys, Alola, thanks so much for coming out. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye bye now.